value. We're going to talk about place value in three distinct periods when we're working with large numbers. Let's take this number for example. This is the number 785,632,901. This large number has three distinct periods. We have the ones period, the thousands period, and the millions period. Notice that each period has three sets of numbers, and these numbers are separated by commas. We need to also take note of the places within each period. Each period has three places. For example, the ones period, nine, zero, and one, has these three places. The thousands period, six, three, and two, has these three places. In the millions period, seven, eight, and five, have these place values. So each group of three numbers has its own place values. These numbers represent each period. If we look at the digit one in this part of the number, we will notice that it is in the ones place. One times one is one. The digit zero is in the tens place. Zero times ten is zero. The digit nine is in the hundreds place. Nine times one hundred gives us nine hundred. So each of these digits represent a specific number according to their place. The nine represents the number nine hundred, not just the number nine. Nine hundred. The nine is in the hundreds place, and nine times one hundred is nine hundred. And we could follow the same example all the way up to the hundred millions place. Two times one is two, but not just two, it's two thousand. Three times ten is thirty, but it's just not thirty, it's thirty thousand. Six times one hundred gives us six hundred thousand. See how that works? Five times one gives us five million. Eight times ten is eighty million. And seven times one hundred is seven hundred million. So the periods are very important when we're talking about place value. There are three periods within each group of numbers and each period has three places, ones, tens, and hundreds. We need to make sure that we remember that. Can you name the periods? Do you remember them? Now, let's practice a little more. Say we wanted to find the number, the place, and the value of a particular digit within a large number. We need to make sure that we understand that place and place value are two different things. When we're talking about the place, we're usually talking about the position of the number. And we're talking about the value, we want to know how much that digit or that number is worth. For example, let's look at the number 338. This three that's in the tens place is the number that we're focusing on. That's the underlying digit. The three is in the tens place, ones, tens, so that's the place that it holds. So the three is in the tens 
place or the tens position. The value of the three is multiplied by 10 to tell us what that's gonna be. So three times 10 gives us a value of 30. So that value, the value of three is 30. Let's try it with a larger number. Let's look at this number. When we're looking at the place, we're looking at the position. That's what we're trying to figure out. And remember, this is the ones period. Once we get over here, we're into the thousands period. And remember, each period has its own place. So ones, tens. So nine times 10 gives us 90, but we need to make sure that we remember the place that it's in. So remember, this is a thousands period. This is in the tens place. So that is gonna be 10 thousands place. And nine times 10 is 90, but don't forget it's 90,000. So that can be applied to any large number. Let's try one more. If we're looking at the two in this larger number, we need to make sure that we always remember that this group of numbers over here, oops, let me bring this up so you can see it. This group of number, numbers here, the 0, 5, and 2, are in the ones period. This group of numbers that are next to it, the 2, the 7, and the 7, are in the thousands period. And so we're trying to identify the 2. This is the underlying digit. 2 times 100 gives us 200, but 200,000. So we know that this is in the hundred thousands place because of its place in the period. And we know that the value of the two is 200,000. So that's what we would need to do to find the value of this digit. We will finish this in class tomorrow. We'll talk more about place value and we'll talk more about the periods for each place value as well as we'll work a little bit more with expanded and standard form. Okay kids, see you tomorrow. Don't forget to do the second part of your homework in your journal. Leave me a note on Edmodo that says, Ms. Clemens, I have watched the video.